Wolo Jarin. Wolo Jarin. We're recording, by the way. Um, uh, looking like he's... Well, from that, oh, damn, you man are funny, man. All right, bro, put your thing on landscape, big man. Hmm? <laughs> <laughs> hey, you man need to allow me, you know. Assalamu alaikum, people. You're locked into Joloff after Juma. Don't go anywhere. You're like you're muted. I forgot. Yeah, but to be fair, it's been gone for the last... Let's start. Let's start. Let's start. Let's start. Let's just start. Have, have it there. Put your phone back where it was. Put your phone back where it was and let's start, please. Why is everyone complaining, bro? <laughs> let's start. <laughs> let's start. That's like, Abdul Malik is ready to be a dad. Only dads can make that noise <laughs> perfectly. Honestly. Honestly, bro. But the people won't know how I suffered. <laughs> oh, fat. Sweet. Yeah, 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 yeah. Eat your sweets. You add it. Let's start. Hey. I'm just leaving that in as well, you know. I'm patting going. Mm. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> anyway. Oh, my days. Are you ready? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, Edit is going to be new. Salam alaikum to my people. Welcome back. Yeah, oh, like, this is like take five, but you know, alhamdulillah, we're still here. Obviously, as you can see, we've got those these <laughs> getting him dusting off the sweet. We got Mams there, back at back at, back in the flesh. We tracked him down. We found him. Obviously, we given him a couple of sweets just to keep him happy, but you know what I mean? So you want to tell it's the people run out soon, man. Huh? It's gonna run out soon, bro. It's gonna run out soon. I swear you opened that pack like ten seconds ago and it's already halfway done. Looking nice, fine. So I'm like, oh, man. Uh, what would you say? Tell the people I've been. Yeah, where you been? Obviously rehab, you know. <laughs> like. I don't, I, I don't want you, but the man, them, the man, them <laughs> intervened, you know. And when the man, uh, and so, them intervened, you know, so you can't just, kind of like, just um in Berms, isn't it? Berms. Huh? How's working that? Yeah, Berm. Huh? Alhamdulillah, man. Alhamdulillah, it's fine. It's fine. That's cool. It's going all right. Alhamdulillah. We have a delay, so we're just going to have to firm that in it because we're not starting again. Again. But it is what it is, isn't it? What about you, Ibs and Dullah? What are you saying, man? I'm looking for a buyer. Huh? Looking for an abaya. A buyer. No, not an abaya. A buyer, Ross. Hold on. That man are on. I need to chill, fam. <laughs> that man are on. I said, I'll hey, find you about him, son. Just a uh, buyer, or do you want something? Uh, or... You man, I'm moving so crazy right now. <laughs> Just take it easy. Just take it easy. <laughs> young, I said, hey. Hey. you're a young man. You're a young, fit, eligible. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh, man. For home. <laughs> I, said, I hope you're not looking for home. <laughs> <laughs> but you man after this, let me know in it. I like Said. <laughs> ah, I know. Hello, man. Man. I tell you, what's going on here, fam? Uh, that's a, that's a cancellation thing, isn't it? So I have to be careful. <laughs> Treading on the ice. I don't know what he's saying, though. Alhamdulillah, all is good, man. All is good. Alhamdulillah. Recovered from oh, recovered you. last week. Oh, uh, me. Huh? I'm tired, but I'm tired. But it is what it is, man. We move, man. Alhamdulillah, man. You recovered from last week and that. Obviously, last heavy, week it was a heavy episode, isn't it? Oh, yeah. It wasn't that bad. I know. Obviously, our voice—we got to rest our voices, isn't it? For once. Yeah, trust me. <laughs> no, but under the the reception's been good. Um, I think people like that type of episode. Um, yeah. I think it's good to obviously throw that in. Sometimes give people some solid, like long session, seri- long periods of serious content, and I think it's good. Quick Dallas, isn't it? Yeah, quick Dallas, isn't it? It's, 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 yeah, yeah, it's good. Um. Luckily, here again to Uncle for coming. Um, my Laura Woodham and I obviously came and dropped some gems. Um, yeah, man. Um, Mams, what are you telling us? You had, you had something for us. What in terms of the? Yeah, yeah. you were talking about you were talking about a show, weren't you? That you worked on. Okay, okay, okay. Yes, man. You man are funny, you know. I said that. We don't, don't know like, when we're gonna get you again in it, so we have to just make the most of you when we're here. Uh, Guy, man. Anyway, it's fun, la. Um, um, watch the show on, on BBC Affair, man. Mm-hmm. You know, the I'll be honest, I forgot what it was called, you know. 
Yeah. Someone remind us. All I know is I had balls in the time. Fertility. That's what someone I remind us. Remind us, someone. Yeah, my, my brother. So to do with fertility. Fertility, yes. But that was an episode title still. Let me get the... But, um, let, me, let, me, let me search it up and see. It was called Me and My Brother and Our Balls. Really? That's it. Yeah, That's that was it. mental, but yeah. Yeah, the topic says it sounds a bit mad. Like, it sounds, sounds mad, mad, man. Yeah. Sounds, sounds, sounds mad, but you know, it's a topic that, that is important, isn't it? Like, it's important. And I won't I think, lie. I think this one will have to just like, add an E to it to make it explicit, just in case any young listeners are listening. Oh, bro, it's, but, it's, 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 it's anatomy and biology, bro. It's not. It's not obviously, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's worth, like, it's worth discussing. These are things that are not discussed, especially from people from our background from our generation. Yeah. I think, obviously, we hear about fertility a lot, but when we hear about fertility, and this is my experience as well, like obviously, you always hear about it from the perspective of um, sisters or female, mm. and obviously, you know, body clock and have to have their babies quickly before their eggs dry up and all those type of things that people say. Um, obviously, it was good. Um, Mum's got us to watch a show on iPlayer that kind of came out from the different angle, obviously the opposite angle of um, men. <clears throat> and it was about some guy from, I don't know his name, but he was he's like a reality TV star. Anyway, Mams, mam, you, you, you introduce it anyway. I, really, I, I don't know how much of an introduction to give it. You get me uh, back. It's... <laughs> You what is it? Okay, ex- explain it to me because I'll give you the science. I'll be I'll real. The science point of view in it because explain it to me because because I I didn't I didn't get a chance to see it properly. Mm. I've just been busy. So, so basically, it to me. so this show, this show, this show has really is basically like it's weird. Like I don't know how to explain it. Like me watching it, I can't lie. Like, when I said it to the group, like it was something that you know. You know, as both of you are married in that, it was more sending it to like, you know, <laughs> why are you doing your eyes like that, bro? Oh, the fly is a fly. You didn't get yourself in trouble. Like. <laughs> but no, um, yeah, sending it to the to the group was to, you know, make you lots aware of it. And, you know, I don't know if there's much of a discussion to be had regarding it, but, you know, you know, me asking you lots to watch it was just to to kind of give you lots that awareness in it I, I can't lie watching it made, made man a bit you know scared awareness like, about what not scared not scared at all but like just like do you wait till you're married to know if you're able to you know have eats and that do you get me kid children offspring all that kind of thing. awareness about what uh, let me let me let me break down the show in it because Dula's, 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 right, 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 Dula's, Dula's getting vexed. Dula's getting vexed. Let me read down the show. Mad. I'm getting mad. No, 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 no. It's just like, there's four of I'm us trying to in this conversation and Ibs is flipping silent. Now let me. Salam alaikum. You are now locked in to Jollof after Jollof. Listen, this, show, this TV show was you called Me and My Brother Balls. Um, the guy that was hosting it. Um, what's his name? Chris Hughes. He's a reality TV star. He had a live um, testicular examination on 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 a morning show, and he was just, I guess, trying to raise awareness because he had had testicular issues in the past. I can't remember what the Bar- name of the he condition. Had a varicocele. That's it. He had a varicocele. Um, I don't. I can't remember exactly what it was. You can. I don't know, do you want to explain what varicocele is? Uh, uh, so a varicocele is a basically um, the way the testicles work is they're where sperm gets produced and as part of to, 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 to ensure the kind of efficiency of that production a cool environment is favourable and a heated environment or prolonged heat is unfavourable and it can kind of impair slash damage your sperm production um, oh, and America, Don't yeah. put your laptop on your lap don't keep your phone near your lap, near your yeah. private areas. All of that. We'll get to that. Oh. So, um, so basically, let me. Just, I'll just, I'll just take the bat on. So he had a, he has a, he has a varicocele, and a varicocele is essentially a, a, a cluster of blood vessels, um, and in this case, they were around his testicle, and obviously, with blood circulation comes 
heat because um, the blood is obviously warm and it's part of how we regulate heat in our bodies. And so they are basically acting like a heater, basically a permanent heater on his testicles. And, and it, sperm, yeah. yeah, which has, which damages um, or impairs sperm production. And um, in his case, I think he's something that he'd suffered from. He suffered for, from it for a while. I think he'd had yeah. an operation. He had an operation, yeah. yeah. And um, so, basically, it was like a recurring issue. So you can have a, an operation, but it's it's not a a hard and fast fix. It's something that can just yeah. kind of help the issue, but it can come back essentially. And so that was him. And so that was his issue. He also the reason why it's called my brother and our balls or whatever is because his brother. Also, asked, huh? Nothing. Go on, go on, go on. Oh, wait, oh, wait, did I? Did I? I'm playing. I'm playing. I'm going, 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 going. I'm playing. Uh, his brother, also at the same time, I think as the, all this was going on with him, um, was diagnosed with testicular cancer. Yeah, but that was because he saw. He saw after, his um, after after he, after he saw the testicular exam on TV. He decided to check himself, check found himself. a lump, and then was yeah diagnosed with testicular cancer. Yeah, and which mean which meant that he got was it one of his testicles removed? Yeah, uh, so, yeah, one of them. Yeah, yeah one of them yeah. removed surgically yeah. to obviously to um obviously pre- prevent the kind of like metastases and the cancer spreading. So that was like kind of life saving or tr- cancer ending surgery. Um, yeah. however, I think he had oh I can't remember, but I, he also but yeah his his um obviously when somebody gets one of their testicles removed, it obviously reduces the ability to have children but it doesn't generally mean that you can't have children anymore because you have two um but in his case he was an issue with his overall sperm production anyway which meant that i can't remember what the issue was um but basically he, he just couldn't produce sperm he just was somebody who just didn't produce sperm and obviously having one testicle doesn't help that but yeah someone that doesn't produce sperm and the kind of tv show follows their journeys with both of them trying to establish whether or not they were fertile or not and with the um, the kind of main celebrity one that had the um, what was his name? Sorry, Ibs. Chris. Chris. Yes. With Chris, who had the varicocele, it became apparent that while his sperm production was impaired, he was still fertile, and it became apparent that um, yeah, we got ten minutes left. Um, it became apparent that while he, but his brother, at the point of the show ending, it seemed that he was basically infertile and he was going through this whole process obviously along with obviously at the time both of them had partners long-term partners they were thinking about starting families so obviously it's a it's a it's a proper emotional time for the parents imagine they're going through this with both children so Mm. what was um sick about it from my point of view was that um the mere fact it showed the power of raising awareness yeah, because I'll, I'll, that's what I was thinking of saying next. It's the fact that yeah. his brother didn't actually had no idea until he checked himself. So he he thought he was healthy and everything, and then it was when he checked himself that he found it, the lump, and mm. then that's when everything kind of started. So yeah, so it happened, makes you so. think. It makes you kind of think as well. Like if if maybe he'd been aware of it from before, because I think these are like twenty six year old men, like twenty six, twenty seven. So. If they'd been aware of it, like from maybe twenty, like perhaps it couldn't have got to the stage that it got to, kind of thing. Yeah. Um, mm-hmm. If they were checking themselves, etc. In, in both cases, in both cases, so so there's three ways to look at. It. So testicular cancer wise, if he didn't check his testicles and find out that he had a lump and get diagnosed and get sorted, that could have progressed a lot worse and could have been life threatening. There's the fact that his obviously finding out that his sperm production was generally low, and the reason he found out that was because normally when they take off a testicle, they want that they try to basically harvest some sperm so that you can keep it in a sperm bank to use for later. And then for the varicocele guy, um, I think the general consensus, the general um, thing is that the longer you have the varicocele, the worse your sperm production is going to get. So you're going to just yeah. keep losing sperm function so in all three cases it's time dependent so it's it kind of rings true to young people that it's not something or anything to do with your health anything to do with your fertility obviously the best case the best thing you can do obviously is is um find out what your situation is as early as you can but generally what happens with people i think we can all say is that 
when it comes to checking your fertility or things like that, people probably don't ever consider that or don't really think about it until the point where, or people probably don't ever think about it until it's a problem. Uh, yeah. Uh, they try them so try them, they can't do it kind of thing. Exactly. So like I, be myself from my point of view, I've never, like, I, I've got a, a story which I'm going to say in a bit that I, but generally I don't, I've never thought of fertility for myself. It's not until probably, yeah, sure. for the show, like thinking about, am I fertile? Like, is there something yeah. I could, like, I never, I didn't go into marriage thinking I need to check if I'm fertile before I get married. Whereas yeah. oh, fertility is probably a thing that I have considered. Do you know what I mean? Before, like, in my life. Do you know what I mean? Mm. But it's bad, isn't it? Because it's like, it takes two to tango. But I'm there for thinking real. about the, the girl and I'm not really thinking about myself. It's probably part of the, I don't know. What about you, I think, man? I think, I think what was also interesting was the, the, is it habits? I think it's habits that, you know, that they were mentioning that should be avoided kind of thing. So like you said earlier, like, the warmth around the bulls or whatever like making sure that they're the right temperature and also the type of like you know underwear that you wear in terms of being constricted and whatnot like these yeah. are things that you could grow up you know through teenage years or whatever like through your growing years and not even be thinking about and it could be having an effect on you kind of thing so yeah man i feel like watching it was an eye opening to me but it's like you know, the, the brothers watching, like, our podcast or whatever, who maybe wouldn't have watched the show. So, yeah, man, just to relay that kind of information, I think was important. Yeah. Um, yeah. But, yeah, man. How, um, is what are you? Same, really. It's, it, it's, it's not something I've really thought about. I've never thought about checking myself or having myself checked out. Um, I don't know. Have you done it's it before? Have you ever checked yourself? Yes. I think I've. Let me not say I've never. I've never. I've, I've never. Sorry. I don't think I've ever extensively thought about it. I've. I have checked myself before, but that would have been just like in the past. Maybe I've seen something on the internet. And I've just checked myself quickly. So yeah, I have checked myself before, but um, it's never something that I've thought about it extensively like am I fair to myself like I've never thought about going into a clinic. Oh yeah. I, I, I can, it's free. Yeah, that would um yeah. If it's free and if it's permissible, I think is an, is, is another topic of conversation. That was, that's actually that's a good point. I didn't actually do that. Yeah. So I've never I've never thought about doing anything like that. But I guess yeah, inshallah everything is okay. <laughs> inshallah fam. Yeah. Let's see what <laughs> Trent Alexander on Inshallah the thing, fam. Inshallah the thing. Dola, <laughs> <laughs> obviously you haven't, obviously you didn't watch it, um, but based on what we've, you just went mad HD. Did you change your device or something? No, nah, no, nah, I moved. I went to a different room. Oh, you changed up the skincare. You just cream your face or something. Like, okay. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no, I'm just saying he's shining, man. So you got to point it out. You'll see. Don't wait till they're don't wait till someone's dead before you give them their flowers, man. Um, yeah, so Dola, obviously you you didn't watch it, so based on what you've heard here, like would you say this is something or would you say even just based on this like ten little ten minute conversation, would you say that you've like kind of benefited or taken anything away? Or um I like, understand I understand how people would benefit from watching that, but me personally this is stuff that I've already, from what you guys have explained, I'm sure if I watched it, I would benefit from it. But from what you guys have explained, it's stuff that I've already known. Obviously, you guys know, I've mentioned that I'm not someone who's, I'm someone who's trying to, you get me, I'm trying to overpopulate the earth with children. Inshallah. So, um, this is something I've always wanted to do. This is, I've wanted a huge family from young. So this is something I've researched before I got married, way before I got married, way before yeah. I was even looking to get married. So I knew about the warmth and not having laptops on your lap and, and, and all these things there. And, but for me, it was, I felt like there's still a lack of, there's a lack of resources out there because I went out of my way to try and look 
up to now, I still haven't been tested for sperm count and all that stuff. I've gone to gum clinics, sexual health clinic. Um, I've gone to, I've, my GP is a private GP where you have a test where they do a comprehensive blood test. Uh, they check your kidneys, check all of that once a year. And that's as far as I've gone. I know you can get your sperm count or whatever checked, but I, don't, I still till now don't know how to. But yeah, I do get regular checks for testicular cancer and all that stuff where they feed up the balls and stuff um, once a year. Cheers, <laughs> man. Let's have a we'll have we'll another chat. Mandem, what's it called? I'm gonna and then we'll start again. Yeah. Let's come back because it's Salamu alaikum people. You're locked into Jollof after Juma. Don't go anywhere. Um, do, do, what was we saying before we so we'll slide back in like a proper um yeah, so I was just saying there's not much of a there's not much resources around for information in regards to because I've heard of people getting checks in regards to sperm count and seeing how much sperm they produce and whatnot. But I've gone out of my way to look. Maybe I haven't looked recently. Maybe I haven't looked as hard as I should. But I've gone out of my way to look and I couldn't find it. All I managed to find was where to go if you, if you want to check for STIs, STDs, etc. And I wasn't sexually active before I was married. So didn't, didn't wasn't useful to me. But I went anyway. So uh, I've just had a quick Google. It looks like you can for I don't know, from a, from a from a, from a range from twenty five pounds to one hundred and fifty. Swim count check. Yeah, do a swim count. How much? <laughs> That's magic, man. <laughs> so so, it's, so it's, it's doable. It's doable. Um, Does it say where to go and whatnot? It's super drug and pharmacies and stuff, isn't it? I should know that, but obviously I don't work. I'm just talking about the, <laughs> yeah, the permissibility of it. Obviously, I, I did another thing. I did a quick, obviously, this no one should quote me on this, but I've done a quick look, and obviously from Shake Google, and it seems that it seems to be like I saw a question, like a fat one, um, and something on Islam Q and A about about. Is it permissible to like masturbate for the purpose of doing a, uh, a like a sexual exam? That's and another that, thing. No, but and it seems like for the for the for that purpose, then it's based on what that said. Then yes. So based on that, I can infer that it should it suggest that doing those kind of tests, at least in some cases, are permissible. But obviously, you don't quote. Me I that. spoke to my doctor about that, and she mentioned that was the only way. And then I just that was just not even an option. Yeah, so and, that's what I, yeah. It generally is Islamically, unless obviously when it comes to matters of health. Yeah, there's it's not it's obviously Islam is a is a is a religion of permissibility. It's not designed to come in and pair us from doing things. So, but obviously look yeah. into look into it yourselves, in it, um, people, inshallah. Um, but yeah. Um, I've got like a list. I should let me tell you. Should I, should I tell my my little anecdote? Oh. So this is kind of my experience with this. Firstly, this when you sent the thing, mams, it rang it rang home with me because um I've had like a a scare in it with this with the whole testicular cancer thing myself in it. Alhamdulillah, all okay in it. Nothing. Even though I wouldn't tell this thing. Um, but and one of my boys as well actually went through this, this at the sim uh, basically at the same time. That basically, um, one day, I think I was in college. Yeah, I think I was in college. I think mm, this happened a couple of times, which I'll explain whatever. But I think the time I'm referring to mainly, I was, I was in uni? Uni. And... Um, it goes down memory lane. Yeah, I know, man. You know, you're, you know you're getting old, yeah, when you can't remember between college and uni. That's a matter of... <laughs> anyway, that's what I know. Anyway. Um, I basically... I'm just doing what I'm doing, and then I just notice like a, the way I'll explain it is like a ball ache. <laughs> Imagine you got a headache. <laughs> Imagine you got a headache, but in your in your ball in it, like you know, not even ball, like a ball, like a particular one. <laughs> and then, um, and at this time I wasn't um, screwed up yeah. on, this, on this thing. Let me come on up with you. Sorry, bro. Give me a second. Alright, cool. Leave. Come, 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 come on, Maddox. Okay, you come back when he comes back. Um. 
but yeah, so as naturally as you do, I went in a shower, made it a bit warm, obviously to make everything, you know. And this is how you do it. Like, I'm not gonna, I don't want to get graphic, but this is scientifically how you meant to do it, and I can teach people how to do it. It's not really as obviously you make everything, you know, nice and steamy, and then you obviously inspect, ah. then you inspect yourself in it. Yeah, so like, water. Check and check in, and then um, I feel what is like a basically a lump. I remember I've got a ball ache, and now I'm in the shower checking myself, and I've got a lump. So at this point, it's it's, it's all like. Subhanallah, what what it like you know you're thinking what is going on? What is going yeah. on? At this point you're yeah. shit. Message maybe I think I messaged a couple in the mandem. Um to be like, oh have, have has this happened to you before? Because it's like what I could explain is that imagine you've got a testicle, but then on the side of it, and this this and at this point obviously you don't know what you're looking for. People obviously tell you check yourself, check yourself, check yourself. But unless you're doing it regularly to the point where you're familiar with yourself, do you know what you're looking for? Some of them yeah. you lump, but what, what does that even mean? Yeah. I feel a mass anyway on the test school. And obviously now you're just shook. This is this is do I do I do I like to, <laughs> wake, waking up to have Monday, Thursday, fasting. Monday, Thursday, fasting. No, Monday, ah, Monday, Thursday, Monday, Wednesday, Friday, <laughs> every other day. Just to inter- just to interrupt you quickly. Yeah. Um you're actually blessed in that situation because you, mm-hmm. you are, you're a person of a character where you're comfortable to chat to your friends about it. You, you mentioned that you messaged the mandem. Some people, a lot of people actually, especially mandem, they won't, they don't feel comfortable like that to, to speak to everyone. So they won't speak to no one about it. And what happens is it just, they're just stressed. It, it just, when you talk about mental health, it just, it just goes into a ball and it and you start creating stuff in your head and it just goes elsewhere. But yeah, carry on. Yeah, I think in twenty twenty, yeah, fam, if you can't talk to your to your friends, who can you talk to? You just you gotta be like life's too short to be to to not be open, man, because it's it's techy out there. But anyway, so what happened? Yes, yeah, so I I think and the pain's getting worse, isn't it? The pain is actually like persistent and it's like a burning down there like as in I remember it's I'm sitting in lectures yeah I was, I'm sitting in lectures like you know what I mean you're, do you know what I mean like you're sideways you're planking people thinking well, what going on for my man it's, it's a scary <laughs> um and eventually I remember one day I just went to I just said like let me go in you know so I went in the medical hospital shout out them um and I obviously I explained what's going on and actually there's all well, one thing as well I remember your um first thing obviously they do when you get there is they see they see black man they see obviously some will say you know relatively handsome in it obviously some will say in it yeah. all, of, all of the 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 sexually active sexually active sexually active and you know the the, the, the way that they basically look at you you're basically treated like a man who's coming who's probably got like chlamydia or something for the first time and they're like and and you're shook and they're like oh this good this, this guy basically like why is he making a big deal well, obviously you've just been a bit naughty and uh-huh. You're not trying to jam in deal with the consequences. That's the way they're dealing with it. So when you're thinking, when you're saying no, it's like the amount of times I've said no, not to, um, not sexually, not sexually, not sexually at all. Is, but anyway, that's that's for another that's day. Really. That's for another day. Isn't it? <laughs> cool. Um, I'm just waiting, waiting, waiting in the any blood, blood, and eventually they say they're gonna give you. They said they're gonna give me an ultrasound, didn't it? And obviously, when they say they're gonna give me an ultrasound, this is after I've insisted, insisted, insisted. I think I've done a week, like a, a wee wee, a urine sample as well. I think maybe because I had to wait for so long, maybe they sent it back to the lab and got it back and confirmed that no, it's not an STD. Um, they said, no, because obviously it's like, allow me in it. It's like, I told you I'm not, and I'm not in it. Like, allow me, like, yeah, anyway. Obviously, God bless the NHS in it. Um, yeah, so ultrasound time. Obviously, when it comes to the ultrasound as well, one of the most awkward things that you have to do, yeah. It's like you go there and you're like, like can it be a can it be a man that does it? <laughs> I don't even. You know, yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, you want a man? Are you sure? I'm like, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. But I'm not gay. No, I'm joking. I didn't say that. But, <laughs> but, um, but oh, yeah. it's true though. It's true. I remember one time a woman came into the room and she was like, "Yeah, so you're gonna take your trousers off and get on a bench off your bike." Like. <laughs> I was just like, 
Sorry? No, no, no. Can you go, go back out? Yeah. Salam alaikum, people. You're live with the Judge Boys. If you haven't already, make sure you like and subscribe. Islamic, that's the better option, fam. Isn't My it? woman. I don't know. Doctor. I don't know, innit? But isn't that the better option? A uh, female. What I, would say, what I would say is, what I'm saying. What I'm saying. You don't understand the words that are coming out of my mouth. Um, maybe, um, maybe you don't need to declare this up because I can't lie. Man, that's not bad. No, no, no. um, um, no, no, no. What was the something that's that's more likely to be a fitna is what's the, what's, the, what's more likely in it? So it's going to be the woman in it. So. What? Yeah, but okay, okay. There's no even that you know what, with with Islam, no, of course, the there's no let's buts. Have the let's have yeah, the yeah, because obviously, like we know, with Islam, there's no buts. If it has to be that, it has to be that. You get me? Yeah. But, but again, this without going away from this topic, because I want to hear the rest of your. your yeah, don't worry, I'm not gonna forget. Magic, can it? But like this even goes into like pregnancy. Do you get me? I, I, it was you, man, that was in that call with when the old when we were hearing from other brothers about. Mm -hmm. When women are in labor or whatever, yeah. and it needs to be a thing where a guy has to deliver this baby, do you get me? They're not going to be uh, screaming out, yo, ho hold on, hold on. They're not going to be screaming out, yo, like, you know, where's the, no, like, we need a female to, to deliver it. Fam, if the person that is, you know, well skilled and well, uh, you know, experienced to do this thing and is only a man, then get the man in, do you get me? Like, no, I'm, not gonna, I'm not going to, I'm not going to, I'm not going to comment on that. Because I don't know the Islamic ruling and that, but no, 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 just no. in general, that's right. a different situation. Because you're talking about a woman in labour. We're talk. This is not. That's an emergency. This is not an emergency. Well, this uh, is just. This is a checkup. You know, it is. This is. But if the, the woman, I've got the answer. I've got the answer. I've got the answer. Okay. What the Sahih thing? No. So basically, man, in a in a situation of health, it's not those fix, uh, issues to do with like kind of gender and those kind of things. Those that when it's when you have an when you have the option, yeah, sex with same sex is is better. But when out of necessity, if that's not an option for you, then, for example, if a woman needs to have a child, let the, let the man come and do it. In my situation, if there was no um, man there, to it, then a yeah, woman can come and do it. But obviously, as Muslims, obviously we want to protect ourselves as much as we can from fitting on that kind of thing and you know protecting our our, our uh, uh, <laughs> uh, I, I've got people are seeing the video of, of, of me <laughs> what <I'm doing. laughs> like, anyway, oh, I, 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 let me re-emphasize the point as I said because this is a learning point anyway that when it comes to issues when it comes to health and professional matters such as these when it is best to keep same sex with the same sex Islamically but if that option's not available, then there's no there's no there's no haram in in utilizing a woman to kind of inspect a man medically and vice versa. Anyway, ask ask for ask for a man and it was calm. Alhamdulillah, it was calm. Got got um a man came. Obviously I say alhamdulillah, but obviously it's still you don't want that. I mean you don't want a man rubbing on <laughs> balls anyway. So obviously they you lie down so you, you get put on the uh, I got. Do you know how we're on Zoom? I feel like going. Anyway, let me not do it. Let me not do it. Let me not do a demonstration. Um, <laughs> we got. We got. Yeah, it's it's not, it's just we got. Um, we got. I got. So obviously, you go into a room. Let me set the scene there because people might have to. People might have to go through this. So you, you go into the room. It's an ultrasound room. The way, like you know, when um women are having their scans when they're when they're having their like eight week scans or what's whatever twenty week scan or whatever it is when they have a baby. So it's ultrasound. So they put the gel. So I'm in that kind of room. It's an ultrasound room. So the radiologist comes. I think it's a radiologist. What they call. And um, I, you lie down on the kind of bed, then he gives you a gel, or he gets like a, a satin with a gel, and he rubs it on your something. And obviously, they give you a bit of tissue. They give you like a paper towel, basically. And you're meant to use that to obviously protect your modesty, or what's left of it, anyway. And um, <laughs> <laughs> obviously, as a, I mean, anyway. <laughs> I'm just right. laughing at Babs. <laughs> we're, 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 we're meant to be mature, anyway. Listen, you got to laugh at these things, anyway. Like... I was just laughing at Mams putting the sweet in his mouth. Oh, anyway. Uh, uh, but, yeah, uh, <laughs> but yeah, so, um, lying down on my back, then, obviously, he's um, put, applying the gel, then he's using the, the, I think it's called a sonogram or something, 
to like you know rub it around and and look at the images and then it's like you feel do you know what I mean you know when you can feel a man like because obviously at this point remember let's serious mode at this point it's a very real possibility in my head that i have cancer in it yeah like, that's that's so it's a serious time so i'm lying there so all the awkwardness obviously is not even a big deal at this point because it's like it is what it is um and the area where i can feel the the pain and where it's coming from he's he's like you know when someone is like he's he's going to that area and he obviously he's looking at it on the screen then you can hear a man go Oh, damn. Then, then, then you're like, then he's moving. He's like, mm. and obviously, it's their job obviously is to be discreet because they have to. Like you're paying way more attention to this than you're supposed to be. Kind of one of them ones. No, no where you're like, he's paying way oh, more oh, attention. Yeah, exactly, to exactly, this. exactly, exactly, oh. exactly. It's like, it's like, like, I, like. What I want to hear is, ah, yeah. That's what, that's what I want to hear. What I want to yeah. hear, ah, yeah. But I don't want to hear. Hmm. Cause that means they're starting to, to investigate it, so it's all that's not very yeah. professional as well, though. Hmm? No, but, but when I say it's that, when I say it's, it's not, it's not that, it's not that loud. It's like, it's it's so subtle to the point where it's it's hard to explain. Cause he's not going, hmm. He's going like, it, basically one zoom. You're not gonna pick up what I'm trying to do in it. So I'd had to just make hmm. it louder for the for the thing in it. But um, but yeah. So obviously we finish up. Obviously I put my clothes on um, and you know what's left of my dignity. Walk out. And then um, sit down, wait for them to come. And then in, um, you get called into the, I believe it's the urologist um, office eventually. <laughs> I'm at the hospital for proof. I've been at the hospital for, I think I got there at 6 a.m. Because I knew that it was, I needed like daytime services. I couldn't go at night when it's more quiet. And I think I must have left there about 4 p.m. So I was there for that the whole day. Then he comes, wow. knights me into the office and he's like, so basically... You don't have cancer, and he's like smiling at me. And I, I remember it was like a, an Egyptian guy, like an Arab guy. I was like, oh, I'm the last. He's like, oh, I'm the last, right? He's gonna laugh with you. And he was like, oh, I think you have something called a. Uh, oh, it's mad, dad. Are you calling? Are you calling? Mentioning this one? Yeah, yeah, it's, it's gone now, isn't it? So it's what it's. Oh, like. I'm oh, I'm it's a, so basically a, some kind of a, basically a infection. Collection of bacteria, basically, it's an infection. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And um, I just needed to take antibiotics. But it was like, it's something that might be recurring in your life, isn't it? Cool. Because it's like, based on just anatomy, you may be more prone to it. Cool. Um, but yeah, man, anyway, that's that's the story. But yeah, but that's just the, that's just the, uh, what's the way? That's just the way to raise awareness. Firstly, it's two things, the three things I want to take people to take away. The first thing is the importance of checking. The second thing is the importance of acting once you check. And the third thing is the importance of actually knowing what you're doing like, when you're checking. Because there's no point in doing your checks if you don't know what you're doing. Because Also just getting general basic health checks. As you saw from the show, the guy just went in or didn't think anything of it. He just saw it on a... What did you say? He saw it on a TV. He saw his, he saw his brother, brother just thought... Pardon? He saw his brother doing an exam. Yeah. yeah. He saw his brother doing it and he just thought, let me go and do it as well. And yeah. what do you know? Yeah, and with most things, cancer, anything, the earlier you get it checked, the earlier you can do something about it. So, yeah, Mel, Mel or female, Mel or yeah. female, yeah. Mm. And um, I, I think there's a stat they say, do you say 50% of, I think it was 50% of the fertility, yeah, is based on the. I didn't get that study though, I didn't mm. understand it. I think because people think that most people that are infertile is, is women, isn't it? With all the various um, okay, yeah, cervical cancer, mm. or just just infertile eggs. I get you still. Right, yeah. That's mad. Yeah, um, issues with like, um, I don't know, like, yeah, I don't want to go into it, but yeah, um, even even Nigerian like like the the Nollywood like mother-in-law, typical like the son's not like I want a gun or whatever, and they just assume that it's the wife kind of thing. So, yeah. Exactly. So you know how many families? Do you know how many families for example that have not had kids? And I'm sure everybody is thinking, oh, this this woman, this, 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 poor, this poor man, this poor man, he's yeah. not going to report. And another thing, I, for, for there's bad things, and in our community as well. Just like you know this whole, oh, um, so when are the babies coming? So when are the babies coming? So when are the babies coming? People need to. Yeah, that's insensitive. Man. Man. That's bare forward, you know. That's very yeah yeah yeah. I think I think people just need to be more, more, because it's not even a thing that's intentional. It's not no. intentional. 
people were asking out of. Well, as, so as two married men, how would you react to that? Uh, me, yeah. at this point, I I don't really care, but I would understand for someone who's been trying for five six years. And they've been actively trying because a lot of people don't, especially when they first start getting married, they don't really they get having children is not really at the forefront of their priorities. So someone who's been trying for a long period, long duration of time, and someone and people are just constantly berating them with questions on when are you having children? When are you having children? Why are you taking so long? As if it's as if it's up to them when it's not. It's a lot. So. I think people just need to be more sensitive and more have more empathy. Yeah. Put themselves in the in the shoes of the people. Your own business. As well. Work it as well. But Find then them. again, sometimes sometimes it's the family. Like as, as a mother, yeah. you want to have grandchildren. So kind of it's kind of not your business, but it kind of is your business. Because most of the most of the time, the people that are asking the most are family members, as in. Close family members, mother, auntie. When it's exactly. close, when it's close family asking in a private setting, that's not really my biggest issue. But it's when yeah. it's, when it, no, but you be no, it's but when it's, when, it's, when, it's, when you go when it's you go to you go to a wedding, you come I don't know, you come with your your husband. Yeah, husband, yeah, husband, yeah, yeah. And then you sit on the table and say that. Like, so when are, when is our grandchildren coming? That that is like, <laughs> these times you want these times you want. <laughs> that, that, yeah, that, yeah, because yeah. you don't you. Especially because if you really genuinely care, yeah, then you can pick up your phone and, and talk to me. And oh, but it's it's those tokenistic expressions, yeah, that they do. So what good does that do? Like those kind of comments, because all they can do is cause damage. Because all they can do, because imagine if you're that person that's going through all that type of madness or that that, that struggling to have children, um, you've got enough on your plate already, and you're probably yeah. in your head thinking people are going to be thinking this. People are going to be thinking this. So imagine yeah. you do, you're, you're going to a set and a relaxed setting, and people, you know, like, you know that you never know how, like, it's like, you know, like in school, for example, you, you never know that small little cuss. So, are you, are you, are you fat? Like, you don't know as much as it can be like light. You don't know how that person's taking it in and or how they're going to ingest that information. Might be the tip of the iceberg, like, literally. Like, yeah. Also, the same the same applies for people that are looking that have been trying to get married for years, and then there's yeah, people going, oh, "When are you getting married? When are you getting married?" It's like, have you not been seeing that I'm trying? That I, like, there's so many sisters that have been like, like it's every time they ask that question, it's like a it's like a little prod, it's like a little stab wound because they've literally been trying to get married for some some of them a decade. Well, and then you've got people asking from every direction, when are you getting married? Oh, you're taking long to get married. Da, 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 da. As if, but yeah. Especially in a public set, there's no, there's no need for it. Man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because yeah, it's, I, don't, like, I don't actually believe the people that ask and care that much, but they don't know that much they're doing. Uh, anyway, um, obviously my love, you know, allow us to have beautiful Muslim, Pious children, as many as as many as Allah wants to give us, as many as we want, because uh, it's not guaranteed, fam. It's not guaranteed. Um, and obviously, shout out the sisters as well, man, because they're this whole, all of this marriage and fertility stuff. They're the ones who are having to deal with it, and we just kind of get away with it. So, so shout out the sisters, right, yeah. So I would you lot, man? Stay strong. Right. Um. Um. Anyway, and other nice way of segueing. Segueing. What? What are you saying? The Muslim dating app. And Muslim pro thing that happened recently. Oh. Did you say we we're gonna discuss that? <laughs> when we were waiting for you to join the meeting, that's when. What? what all, all thirty-five seconds. <laughs> it was longer than five. Oh, shut seconds. up, man! I said thirty-five seconds. I'm joking, I'm joking, I'm joking. If I could flag yeah, yeah. it, resume. I'll flag honestly, it. honestly. <laughs> uh, that's all I've got to So that, so that. Oh, don't. The whole Muslim pro thing, um, yeah, there's a lot of, I don't even know if there's a lot of, but there's outrage. And, but I don't see, apparently it's because the data has been sold from, so the app is being used to collect data from users who are obviously majority Muslim. And oh. it's been sold to the US government or something along those lines, but. Location data, is, primarily, I believe. Yeah. Oh, it's a lo location, yeah. 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 
So my thing is, um, so, yeah. I don't understand. Obviously, I understand the outrage. Your data's been sold, but so are all the other apps. And this app is not like... The, the thing is, people are saying, oh, you're a Muslim creator, you're a Muslim app, and you're selling our data to... To the ops. ops. <laughs> and... <laughs> Trump and them, you're meant to be one of us, but the thing is, the people, the creators of the app, the company that created the app, is not apparently it's it's, it's not even a Muslim creator, it's whoa, some French. Pardon, I said, Whoa, that's yeah, 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 whoa. yeah, it wasn't, it wasn't, it wasn't I don't know, Muslim. Oh, well, yeah, are you sure? Yeah, well, I'm not sure, no, the source is not reliable, but I'm hearing it from multiple sources. <laughs> That, that. Huh? <laughs> no, I'm from multiple sources, and if I was, I'll be honest, I'm not bothered. But if I was bothered, I would have looked into it and seen who the company is. But I've heard from many sources that the company that created it wasn't even that Muslim. And the owner's not Muslim. Some French guy, or whatever. You made a point. You said all of the other apps are doing it as well. Oh, are selling location data as well, are you sure? Because it's fair, it's fair enough that other apps, the other apps can access your location, but are they selling that data to military? They're not selling it. Some of them might be. But you know what it is? Even Muslim Pro, they're not selling it directly to military or US government or whatever. It's indirectly. So they're selling it to a company who then either works for the government or is selling it to the government. Well, so, a lot of these that, apps, uh, they have al algorithms. Pardon? What are you going to say? So, no, carry on, carry on. No, no, what are you going to say? Bro? In the grand scheme of things, like how, like, how serious is this? Do you get me? If, if millions of people's data is going to be getting sent to whoever is getting sent to you, like, like my, how is that going my... to none as an individual? Do you get me? They're, I'm sure they're not going to be looking for Mahmoud. Like, like, where's Mahmoud right now? Do you get me? You, you never know. You never know. But then I hear what you're saying. I hear what you're saying because... Firstly... I've, yeah, go on. Here. I've completely lost my kind of thought. No, continue. Go on. I Firstly, remember. I've got enough... Me, if I'm asking... If I'm asking myself how it's going to affect me, I don't care because I've got nothing. For it. Um, secondly, look at all the other apps on your phone right now, each of you, everyone that's listening. Go and see how many of those phones you personally have allowed to... Because... If you've got an iOS device, you click, you allow it to track your location. Some of them, yes. you allow them to track your location when you're not even using the app. Yeah. And I guarantee they are selling your data to different companies. It might not be maliciously, it might not be to government, whatever, but they're selling your data to uh, all kinds of different companies. Why do you think you're getting personalized ads? I just think, I, I just think, I think, I think the headline came out maybe just sounded a lot worse than it actually is. Because oh, yeah, it no, I saw, I saw I read I read an article. I saw, I saw an hey. article. Okay. Um, but yeah, I think like you said, a lot of apps a lot of apps use a location anyway. So it might be a case of that all of those apps are selling your location as well. But hearing that your location data is being sold to the military just sounds like a mad invasion of your privacy, which obviously people don't like. But when you actually think about it, when you actually when you actually think about it, you're selling your 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 you're allowing your own privacy being to be invaded anyway. We're so far gone, man. We're so far gone you know, into you know, all of this. Like, I, I heard that word, yeah. But I think what the angle that people what, what people will say in opposed to what you're saying is that yeah, that's all well and good that you know, Apple and Facebook are doing this, yeah. But an app called Muslim Pro, an app for the Muslim, yeah, yeah, so claims to uh, which you know what? Let me actually do my oh, research. No, 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 so, so that because no. this is the point that people want to say that is an app that's for the Muslims, um, yeah, gives the impression anyway that it's by the Muslims for the Muslims are basically what it seems like to be Violet. in cahoots with. Yeah. Organizations who so often, wait, wait, who often can be perceived to have what is generally anti-Islamic motivations. That's that's one. Second second point is that 
if if that is it's that so that's let's say in cahoots. The second point could be that an app that is for the Muslims and for the best interest of the Muslims could be could be like so negligent to the point where they are allowing the data of the Muslims who have put their trust in them because but if you but you pay the subscription blah 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 you've put a trust in this company to as as a Muslim and a trust as a Muslim to a Muslim to basically to be so negligent that they are against your knowledge and as much as we say we can be used to it it doesn't change you know what I mean I know people are desensitized but right or wrong doesn't change based on how sensitive you are to it are selling this information or whatever or allowing your information to go to organizations who some will claim are using it have ill intentions yeah so I mean like, like I said I was I'm not defending with everything I said I wasn't defending Muslim pro as soon as I had the vice winners I deleted it immediately as well I, I got rid of it oh, yeah, I, I didn't. to be honest, because yeah. I've got the photo really, delete it off. I didn't really use the map. I didn't really use the app that much anyway. It was just the notifications that came from my phone. I don't. I never. I never used it to read the Quran or anything. And even when I went on it, the amount of ads were jarring. So I got rid of it. I was just gonna say. I was just gonna say. I, I don't understand why there wasn't an outrage earlier or a time ago about the ads that were put on yeah. every time. Click Every on. time open the app, so I I deleted yeah. it. Yeah. And these were these were these were ads of half naked women, ads no of way. ads of. Oh, is there? Are you sure? I've seen it. It depends on it depends on what your phone's on. It depends on what goes on your phone. Again, track. I'm not. I'm gambling and watching half naked women. <laughs> <laughs> but hey. it depends on, yeah, but I watch a lot of car videos and they have watch they have watch ads, they have gambling ads, they have so I'm guessing that's where it's from. I can only assume. Obviously. Yeah. <laughs> what what's funny? Uh, this is hilarious. <laughs> Moving on swiftly. <laughs> There's nothing to move on from, bro. So 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 just in regards to Muslim Muslim Pro and who owns it, um it's owned by some Erdogan Mace guy. Um it was created in 2010 during Ramadan. Uh the guy who created it was the owner of Bits Media. It was purchased, was so it was acquired in 2017 by a Malaysian. By Malay. Okay, so it might actually be Muslim owned if it was acquired from this guy. So I think everyone's focus is on this guy, but no one's seeing that it was acquired by. Let me just get my facts right and find out the name of the actual company. So it was acquired by a Malaysian company by the name of. Um, sorry, bear with me. What's the source of right, it, was, it was acquired by the Malaysian comp- as by a, a company in Singapore by the name of CMIA. And uh, I think do, they, do, they, own any, do they own any Malaysian. other apps or anything? Um, I'll be honest, I haven't got time to look all of that up, bro. I can't I really don't care, to be fair. What's the website, though? For people that are listening, you can do your research. Uh, that took me, what, five minutes? Yeah, but five. where's the website? What's the source? What's the... Uh, this is just LinkedIn and okay. LinkedIn is pretty credible though. Wow. I think what Abdul uh, was saying was was important about when you when when you download those kind of apps, you because it's when when if you're trading with a Muslim, you automatically as a Muslim you trust that person mm-hmm. with, with 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 whatever you're giving them, whether it be your privacy, whether it be your money, you you automatically trust that person more because they're Muslim in most cases, whether that's right or wrong is a different conversation. But in most cases you will trust you, you would trust a, a, a Muslim more. So I think just the fact that um, people heard that, that we've kind of trusted you with our data and you're selling it to people who, let's say have ill intentions for Muslims and you're selling that data, it was obviously it was a bit mental. Assalamu alaikum. You are now locked in to Jollof after Juma. I was just saying, obviously, um, in kind in those kind of situations, you would you would trust a Muslim. Whether that's right or wrong is a different conversation, but um, you tend to trust Muslims more when you're trading with them and those kind of things. So I just the, the fact that 
um, people have kind of trusted you with their data and it feels like the, your trust has kind of been betrayed when you're selling location service or data to military and stuff like that. It's just, it's, it's, it's bound to make people upset. So like I said, I, I, I got rid of the app immediately. And let's say, let's um, say the, Let's say the owners are Muslim and we're, and we're Muslim. Let's give them the benefit yeah. of the doubt as Muslims. Let's, because we know it's a fact that they did not directly sell. Uh, well, okay, it's not a fact, but from what we know, they did not directly sell the information to the I US don't know that. I don't know that. That's what's been reported. From what? Do I, do I, I don't know that. It's, huh? From the article, I really didn't say that. I don't know that. When you, so when you oh, did, that's what's been that's what's been reported. Right, cool. so what is reported? They didn't directly sell it to the military. It was they sold it to a company, then sold it. Pardon? Both of you are speaking, so I couldn't hear. So they sold it to a company that directly sold it to. They sold it to a company that sold it to the U.S. government or the U.S. military, whatever. The okay. same way. Companies take your information when you go into websites. When you go into websites, GDPR, all of this stuff, they make you either accept the cookies or click another option to then manually unselect yourself. They sell mm. your to plenty of companies, which is probably what they've done. And then a company has bought their, their data, has then sold it to the military. That's mm. what I'm getting. But obviously, that's that's just but my. Ibs. So when you, yeah. when you when you deleted the app, yeah. sorry, when you deleted the app, yeah, did you delete it yeah. of a fear of your data being blah blah blah, or was yeah. it in protest or in as like a as like a not a punishment but like a way to say I disagree with what you've done, or, or I'm not happy with what you've done, and as a result, I'm going to remove my business from you. Because basically, yeah. Is that that one? Basically, I would, I, I would say so. It, it was just because those are the two kind of. Obviously, yeah. You do. You, you don't. You don't like your. You don't like your data being misused. And I think what we we we, we it's, it kind of links in with what Dola, what Dola was saying is that fair enough. When your data is being taken in by these companies, you don't know what's happening with your data. But in this specific situation, we know that our data has been sold to the military. So in that, now that you know, you can take some form of action. It's either you choose to continue using the app and you continue having your data sold to the military or you, or you remove yourself from that. And I wanted to remove myself from that. In other situations, you don't know what's happening with your data. So you can't make, so you, 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 you don't make an informed decision because you don't have all of the information to make an informed decision. That's what an informed decision is. You, you make a decision based on the information that you have. So yeah, in that instance, it was just that, <laughs> I knew what was happening in my data now, and I don't want to be a part of that anymore. So I'm moving myself, basically. That, that, that's where I stand with it, to be honest. With what you just said, like making an informed decision, you have to be informed. You get me? So I can't say that you know that's going to be a reason for me to stop using the app, unless someone mm -hmm. could give me like an alternative that you know. Is Bro, as just go on. Know. Just go. Obviously, you're not going to get. No, you're not I, heard that, get... I heard that. Obviously. Going on to the app store and tapping in Muslim app and that that. No, no, I'm just saying you can go on. You can go on East East uh, East London Mosque. All the times online. Yeah. Oh, so no, no, obviously, but obviously you won't you get the benefits the, of that, which on. are. Hold on, hold on. Um, you can't downplay the notifications. That, you can't but, down, downplay the fact that Muslim Pro has loads of you know, like you know, it's like everything in one. Do you get me? So what I'm saying is I can't now what? make a decision to not use the app because like because of something that I don't even know if it's legit like who, who reported the story mm. you me? it could be someone trying to it could be a, a, an external True. party trying to trying to sabotage the fact that they, like they can see that Muslim Pro is such a tool that you know combines Muslim like I know a lot of new Muslims or Muslims that aren't as you know like he want as who rely on Muslim Pro a lot because um, of the fact that like the access they get to the Quran and whatnot and do you get me? Um, so I it could be different. just somebody from somewhere else who's seen that the app is doing so much good, quote unquote, 
and they want to sabotage it. Do you get me? So, I will say, man, just, just, just to, to, to come, like, what has been confirmed is that the company Muslim Pro um, severed their ties with the com- company that they were working with because of the fact that the data was getting sold. So it is confirmed in it that that was happening because they would okay. they separated themselves from the the, the data sharing company. Is that after this? Is that after this story has come out? I believe that's how the story came out. It, when okay, so it is the US the military. Timeline that I know, the timeline that I know is that they heard that it happened. They heard that this was going yeah. on. And then, or somebody, a representative, somebody in the company heard this was going on. And they immediately or immediately went to sever their ties with the company to prevent that happening. And then that's how the story came out. And what it comes out is that maybe it was more sinister than that, blah, blah, blah. But I don't want to speculate into that. But that, that is the fact, in it? That they took the decision to, to cut their ties themselves with the company that was sharing the data to the military or whatever. So, and that was their decision, quote unquote. Yeah, it's not like they were pressured into it after the, yeah, after the PR yeah, had come that's, out. That's, 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 but, but yeah. So, yeah. So for me, from where I stand, like, I, I do feel that there's been like a betrayal of, the way I, that, to me, the best case scenario is that it's not a betrayal of trust, but there's been negligence and sometimes like being negligence negative, of handling data. Sometimes negligence. Yeah. You can you sometimes there's no excuse for it, innit? Sometimes it's like, come on, like cool. Whether I'm gonna delete the app or responsibility. not responsibility. Yeah, exactly. So whether I'm gonna delete the app or not, I've I haven't made up my mind yet because obviously it's it is convenient and blah blah blah. And the fact that like obviously this is not a good way to think about all situations, but I'm not doing anything dodgy, so the my data being in certain hands is it gonna affect me? Yeah. Oh, well, I think, do you know that's, what that's I not think... a good way to think, and I accept that. Mm. But I don't know. I'm undecided in it because oh, why? Why is it not a good way to think? What's wrong with that? What's because, wrong with? Because sometimes, like for example, because you I, have a right to privacy. It's as simple as that. Just, if everybody well, only it's, cared it's, about, look, I we're not affected by police brutality, but we still can care. Okay, you know? I get I'm, that. But then, yeah. what Dilla just said regarding. Um, you know, we have the right to to privacy and whatnot. Well, like, there's so many apps on your phone right now, yeah, that are doing. You're things right. Like, like the fact, the fact that you have an iPhone, bro. This iPhone. Yes. He said I have an iPhone. iPhone. This iPhone thing. The whole what? I don't know. Got 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 he's got. He's got. He's got like <laughs> well, iPhone two or two. <laughs> hey, Samsung Galaxy, bro. Yeah. All right, cool. But when it comes to like I'm iPhone joking. X Plus, yeah, you lot are you all using your like our fa- the faces to, to, to sign in and that. So, like, how much more private can you get? Do you get still me? waiting for my iPhone 12? Oh, yeah. I think, I think, yeah, I, I, I think in, in, in my case as well, it was just like, all right, fair enough, this story might not be true, or there might be more to the story than what's been reported, but. At the end of the day, I just thought it's better to be safe than sorry. And there are loads, there are loads of other apps out there that do the exact same thing. Muslim Pro isn't 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 spectacular that other apps aren't doing. Give the so, listeners two other options they can go to, inshallah. What, me? Yeah. Just quickly. Or at the end of the pod. For what? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. After the top yeah. of my, one one off the top of my head, one I've heard of is uh Quran Majid. That's the only one I've that's one I've heard off the top of my head. Um I think for one prayer times one my brother uses is Avan Pro. But all most of these apps do the same thing anyway. That was my thing as well. So why 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 do we have to use we don't have to use Muslim Pro? Pro. And it's because it, it's the most known one. That's and if this thing if this thing has yeah, it's it's just it's the most known. That's it. There are plenty of apps out there that do the exact same thing. And if, if this has come about, uh, yeah, we might want to give them the benefit of the doubt or we might not. And it was just for me, it's better to be safe than sorry. Let me remove myself. And if I want to go and for, I haven't, I haven't, I haven't replaced it. But if I want to replace it, I'm sure I'll be able to find something else out there. To be honest, I wanted to cut, I wanted to cut off the team time ago from when I was forced to watch ads just to go, go on the ad, go on the ad. Or I've the page slide I, don't on. I don't even, I don't even um... But it's just because out of convenience, I just kept it. Obviously, I, I, yeah, I got peas in it, so I got the paid version. So. You got the paid version for what? I haven't got peas, so I have got the free one. They've denied yeah, it. I have, the, I have the paid one. So. How much? I don't even know how much I paid. I think it was a one-off thing. Right. So that's why you don't want to delete it. 
This is the best way to put it. When they run me the peas back in it, because I hold it. I think it was a fiver as well, you know. So I'm paid five for, for app. You're a waste, man. Yeah. Uh-huh. Yeah, they've done. Paid five for an app that was good trying to help me get oh, it. That's a bump. <laughs> that's a bump. It's a bump. It's a bump. It's a bump. Yeah. Connor, that's a bump. Yeah. It's a bump. And the, and it has some, the exact, whole five pounds. The exact same. Whole, the I get from that is uh um is uh it'll be worth it. It's huh? best, All right, they're hitting, bro. They're hitting. Yeah, I got I got the same for free. How about that? Okay. They're hitting, bro. <laughs> Are you happy? <laughs> because I'm trying to get closer to that. Is that what you're doing? I don't get it. Like, I don't. Is that what you're doing? I don't get it. Uh, okay. Mm. <laughs> Let's wrap this up, bro. Please. All right. Uh, you got somewhere to be. Yeah, this is no, good. come on, I was enjoying the I have it's just pound the jam is there. Pound okay. the jam is there. Huh? Pound the <laughs> jam is, is there like oh I swear. I've not I've got <laughs> man got the jo- the jell off in it. It's not Jumma, but man still got the jell off in it. Yeah, so obviously. Ah, that was so dead. Personal chef, yeah. In Brown, yeah, my team. <laughs> I, I think that's a good place to leave it, man. Let's leave it there. Um, obviously, um, thank you, people, for joining us. Luckily, here just sticking with us in the Zoom episodes. Obviously, it's uh, it's 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 uh, it's not the best, but consistency is important, and we can't just yeah. leave for a month. All of those are different times in it. So other people are enjoying the Zoom as well. Yeah, to be fair. Ibs Matching old, names to faces then. and Ibs old is beard again, so you know. I mean, nah, they're saying it's the it's the it's the news good. The feedback's good. Yeah, um, the feedback's been sick, man. Feedback's been sick. Um. Oh, we didn't need to. Next, next week. Next week. Make sure to subscribe okay. if you're on YouTube. Yeah, it's true, you know. Yeah. It's, it's, it's like and subscribe and that because. What are you saying? What are you saying, Abdulmalik? Where's the Where's the button? Oh, <laughs> click the <there. YouTube> button. <laughs> Clever. <laughs> Learning to edit. I've been on a journey. I've been on a development journey, you know, because man's not a technological guy, but man's been doing editing, fam. I'm proud of myself. We saw the little, <laughs> I love that word, fam. <laughs> the little picture. Man's been. I, I getting. I've been getting creative with it. So oh, that yum, that yum uh, picture. <laughs> that the one with the million eggs. Yeah, they like that one, man. They like that one. I'm trying, man. Um, but yeah, let's leave it because yeah. Um, so, socials. Abe's what are the socials? Get off after Chuma. Instagram. Jaj underscore pod Twitter. All of that, all of that. That's uh, what I like to YouTube Jalafa. Leave, leave comments, people, man. Leave you comments. man using it? Are you man using Twitter? Uh-uh. Yes. <laughs> it's active. If you're, if you're watching on YouTube as well, grab your That's siblings' phone, tap the subscribe, grab your parents' phone, grab the subscribe. You get me? Yeah, all of that. Yeah. All that good stuff. Right? Please, man. Um... Yeah. Trying to get paid out here. I like I'm trying, I'm trying, to, I'm trying to eat, man. I'm, I'm joking. We're trying to go. Obviously, Jenna is the motive, isn't it? But let's be real. <laughs> I don't know about these, man. Yeah, Jenna is the motive. Come on. Jenna is the motive, man. All right, people. Assalamu alaikum. Assalamu alaikum.